Bassoon's bassoon practice. So, today we'll be doing on the on our book, The New Western Born Method for Bassoon by Douglas E. Stanley. And right now we're on, I think, the second, ch yeah, the second chapter. Um, and we're going to be doing the 8th, 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th. Well, here is our beauty. Let me just set it aside for a second. You probably can't see it. Here it is. My second bassoon, because the first one needed repairs, and now this one's better, so I might get to keep it. Until, of course, for the school. So, this should be fun. <laughs> Just turn our metronome on. Now, I am just going, since this is on 6 eighths, I'll just be doing the metronome myself. So, one, what we're going to be doing is one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, one, two, three, four. We should go to one, two. And faster, so one, two, one, two, one. I completely messed it up. I just played the wrong notes all by accident so don't try to copy me this is the music right here can you guys see it i don't know if you can but number eight uh huge at ten and six so we're gonna try that again <laughs> from that and now we can go to number nine Algretto which is right here I hope you guys can see it because I can't see you guys seeing it so uh, that that sounded weird but all right let's start this is in two fourths so we'll just be going one breathe for the second beat and then we're just gonna be playing one Oh, I messed it up in the beginning. Um, let me try again. One. It sounded a bit staccato. I could have made it more legato, but I think that's okay. I literally just started playing this instrument. I practiced three times before, so and this is my first video. Um, so I guess I'll do number ten now, which is called Laghetto in nine eighths, which is very weird. I've never seen it before. I don't know about you guys though. 
Maybe some of you are actually really talented bassoonists. You are just normal people just watching this vlog of me playing bassoon. All right. So let's do nine eight. It's gonna be like one two one two one two one two, and then breathe for an eighth note, and then just start playing. So it's gonna go by fast, and like this is all. This is gonna go by really fast. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So that's just it. I think on the second to last note, could have been better. Made it last a teensy bit longer than it should have. But if this is a real concert, no one could really hear you. I mean, you're just too low. So now let's go to number 11. Ooh, cheese for teal. So this is in four fours, so it's going to be pretty easy just to do the counting. Like one, two, three, breathe, and then play. All right. Uh, here's just a bit. Oh, yeah. Also, all like every single... Um, it's not like a bass clef, it's, sorry, it's not treble clef, because I played a lot of instruments in my time, I played the piano, first instrument, quit, played the violin, first in, second instrument, quit, played the clarinet, still have the clarinet, actually, played some bit, but, I mean, not as often as my bassoon. So, let's just play Ruhi Vertil, number 11, not number 8, Ruhi's Achtel, whatever, in 6, so... That's why we're here to be chill. One, two, three, four. <laughs> In my in the notes in my end, most of them were staccato because there's that dot symbol under the note which makes the note staccato. Uh, take that as a lesson if you don't know any instruments, or maybe you do. Um, if anyone knows, can anyone please tell me what D E S means? It's like weird. I don't know what it means, so if anyone can help. That I would put in the chat comments. All right. So this is number twelve on chapter two for the new Western by Bassoon book. Um, this is Rishi Jachtel, like number eight, but it's in four eighths, not six eighths. So let's start. Um, all these notes are staccato from the dots on the top. So, let's get started. One, two, one. So I'm gonna retry. One, two, one. I would say it could be better, but I think it's fine for now. Um, and now we can do on Dante. Number 13. I actually have not done Andante before. And this is a teacher collab, and right now my teacher's on vacation. Oh, sorry, I'll get that tune out of the way. So here's the full music. Here's the teacher's part, it's very hard. So, this scenario, I really don't want to be the teacher. All right, let's put. And this is in full force, so it should 
be easier for the counting. One, two, three. Ah, I messed up on the slur there. There's no slur, but I guess we start just the first four notes. One, two, three. you did that good either as my first time playing it well goodbye and see you on the next video hit that like button and subscribe